Hello everybody, welcome back to the latest and greatest episode of my Road 2000 ELO on Chess.com series. In this episode, we're going to be going up against my girlfriend. And you guys won't know who my girlfriend is, but um, if you've been following this channel for a little bit of time, you might know who she is. This would be Saf. Now back then, her and I were not boyfriend-girlfriend, but as of uh, almost three months ago, now we are. Anyway, that's not the main focal point of this episode. In this episode, we are going just to... We're just going to take her on in a game of chess. 30 minutes rapid, that's all it is about. Now, it is important to note that Sav is a weaker player. Her rating is somewhere in the high 300s. Now, I will say this right now. Please don't be rude and belligerent in the comments. She is a weaker chess player, but that's okay. She wants to take the time to learn and grow into a bit of a more competent chess player, and that's okay. I respect her for that, and you guys should too. So... Let's keep the comments civil, tame, and most importantly, respectful, and let's get on with this game. Okay, this is it. Alright, so opening with a d4 right away. Okay, we'll, we'll match that. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Let's be careful this time around, though. Okay, I always remind her not to uh, go too crazy about her opening principles, not to, you know, think about too many things in the opening, even though it is sometimes important to do so from a beginner standpoint, you know, it's okay that she uh, kind of has an idea in her mind of what to do almost every time, you know, because oh, with openings, there's protocols that you should be doing, right? I think that's the first step to learning more advanced openings is knowing the uh, basic principles of it, so... Hmm. Okay. I'll do that for now. I don't think moving my knight would do all that much right now. Yeah, she could do that, but... After this, I'm going to castle, get my king to safety. Okay, yeah. That's why we do that. Okay, we'll kick the bishop. I don't think we have much to do here now. She could take, right? But then now my rook just has a column to be free. Okay. Uh, what should I do now? Hmm. Probably do that. Since her queen's already out of the way. I'll smash the center open. Hmm. Is she okay? Oh, I see what she's trying to do. She didn't take. Well, okay. Hmm. What do I want to do then? It's not like I can just take. I mean, the only problem is that <laughs> that just uh, gives me free material, I guess. But that's okay. Um, I think what we could do is probably go maybe queen d7, then rook e8, something? Uh, mind you, now that she castled, that's probably not such a great idea. Which is okay. Um, let's see, the bishop is in there pretty good, but it's not quite completely trapped yet. I think we should wait a bit. Uh, maybe if I try to do a bit of a crazy attack on the queen because i'm thinking that we're kind of pitting the knight to the queen right so what i eventually want to do is if we can get the knight out of there in some way like um i don't know where the knight would go but if we're able to get our knight to e4 safely put an attack on the queen and possibly work on f2 depending on where she puts her queen i think that could work we are up three material though which is good For her, though, the idea here is that she's not necessarily trying to win. Like, yeah, she is, obviously. She's trying to reach objective. But for her, the important thing is that 
at the end of this, when she gets evaluated, because she'll probably use her uh, game report. Actually, let's message her that now. Oh. Oops. Game report after. Can you do that? Okay. Yeah, I didn't mean to hit, sorry. Okay. There you go. So what she's going to do is have a game report this video, uh, or not this video, but this game, and then we'll take a look at everything. Quite a nice woman, I will say. But we're not here to uh, talk about that stuff. Her and I can have those conversations on our own. Ooh, that was actually a pretty decent move, I think. I'm not sure how much chess.com is going to like to, or my god. I'm not sure how much chess.com is going to like that move, but I certainly respect it. Uh, okay. Hmm, is there any weaknesses we can use to go about this? Okay, now she's doing chess kit emojis. Nothing new for her, though. She loves that thing. I can't tell you why, though. I don't know. Uh, our bishop's in a decent spot right now pinning that knight but the knight's useless and i don't think we should take because taking the knight won't do us any favors so we could lose a pretty valuable bishop for a semi-inactive knight we gotta think of something else here i'm thinking like hmm okay if b5 is protected by both those pawns right and d5 is like we, we shouldn't even be talking about the knight it's it's pinned but is there anything she could do to start moving it like Here's the thing. I think if she starts mobilizing queen d3, right, then that leaves f5 pretty vulnerable. Same thing with um, a6. So maybe we should prepare for that? I just don't know exactly how. Hmm. I think maybe we move our queen up to like d6, I'm thinking. That be good now mm, I guess we could try make me think for this one I always I always tell her to take her time think about her moves and all those kind of things and yeah I think she's doing a pretty good job of that here Okay, that probably wasn't a great move for her, because now we're going to put that queen in danger. And even if she takes with a knight, right, then I'll just take with my bishop, so. It's a bit of a hot water situation for her, which is fine, right, but. I'm just wondering, when, it, when push comes to shove, right, um, because here's the thing, she'll probably move the queen, meaning that there's going to be a weakness at c3. Do I take the knight with my bishop, or, mind you, let's think about this real quick. Maybe we shouldn't move yet, because the same problem still remains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my pawn and get my queen in there so we can do even more damage, I think. I think that's going to be my course of action on this. Because if she takes on c5, right, then I take with my queen, and now the knight's even under more pressure, because then regardless if I take with my, uh, my knight or my bishop... Okay, good. Okay. Well. I think this is where we're gonna go to town. Oh, she anticipated that. Okay, not a bad move, I don't think. Okay, I think I'll go bishop first, because then I can put the rook in danger. Is there anything I can do with my queen, though, that'd be particularly helpful? Wait a second. I'll do that. Right. That. That. 
that. There we go. That was the end of our game. So what she's going to do is she's going to game review and then we'll take a look at everything. So with that in mind, we'll be right back. Well, we're back now, everybody, and it looks like we played a pretty good game, and she didn't do too bad herself. Um, yeah, wow, look at that. Only one inaccuracy holding us back. So, obviously, I don't have any memberships, but... Damn, we both played a good game. She'll be happy with that. Think about it. She's in the 380s, and she's playing nearly twice that. That's very impressive, and honestly, I'm not complaining about that 1050. Maybe I shall end the series here. My road to 10, or, uh, my road to 100, oh my god, my road to 1,000, it's right here, the proof is right here, I'm just kidding though, guys, still, um, a very good job by her, obviously, I think there were some mistakes that took place throughout, but, that's okay, because I think that she still did a really good job, and I can't really look at the detail of the moves just because I used my game review earlier for something else, but, yeah, you can see her middle game was a little rough, but her opening was really strong, yeah, no, I think we both played a pretty strong game. 650 isn't her best game by any means, but, you know, if I'm shooting for 1,050 and she's shooting for something higher than 600, then I think both of our performances bring us justice, at least for the present time. But yeah, no blunders made by her, not even any misses, just some mistakes and a handful of inaccuracies, and that's okay. So I hope that all of you who are watching... I hope that, uh, wait, what was my great move? Oh, that was my great. Oh, I actually screwed the mate up there. That's okay. That's all right. Well, I tried. But, yeah, no matter. Um, with that in mind, got the, oh my god. With that in mind, though, guys, I, uh, I'll see you in the next video, all right? Take care for now. Goodbye.